Alright, for our next inductive proof, uh, it's much more similar to our first example. We've got a summation set of numbers, so 1 times 2 plus 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 and so on and so on and so on and so on, all the way up to n times n plus 1. The sum of all of that is equal to n times n plus 1 times n plus 2 all divided by 3. We've been asked to show this by, uh, prove this rather, by induction. As with everything, our first step is our base case. Base case. And so we just, just need to show that for this first term here, this part holds true. So 1 times 2 equal to 2. Looking in here, if we substitute for n equals 1, 1 times bracket 1 plus 1 times 1 plus 2. This gives us 3. This gives us 2. All divided by 3. Those cancel. Our 1 goes in there. And we're going to get this equal to 2. So our base case holds true. Now we need to move on to our inductive step. And as with all the others, all we need to do here is show that this remains true if we generalize it to the next term. And the next term in this case is going to be n times uh, n plus 1 times n plus 2. So we can write this out explicitly, 1 times 2 plus 2, oops, sorry, times 2 times 3 plus 3 times 4 plus dot 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 plus n times n plus 1, exactly as we had here. And then we're going to add on our newest term, which is n times n plus 1 times n plus 2, like that. So for this inductive uh, proof to be true, we have to show that this is equal to that if we replace all the n's in here with n plus 1. So writing that explicitly, that would be n plus 1, n plus 2, n plus 3, all over 3. But again, we can't just say, well, substituting n plus 1 to here gives us that, therefore it's true. We have to show how to get to here from this line here. And the good news is that all of these terms here, all the way up to there, by our inductive hypothesis, because we are assuming this is true, we can say that all of those terms, because they're all contained in here, are just equivalent to this expression here. And we can rewrite all of this line here as n bracket n plus 1, n plus 2, all divided by 3, it's all of those terms, plus this step here, n, n plus 1, n plus 2. And all we need to do now is to massage this to get it to become that. And this step is really simple. We just need to write them o uh, both over the same common denominator. So I'm going to multiply this by 3, write it 3 over 3. And then we can see that n plus 1 and n plus 2 are common factors to both of these terms. And we're going to get bracket n plus 1 n plus 2, n plus 3, all divided by 3, which is equivalent to this, and therefore our inductive proof is correct, and we're done.